Yo, what is up everybody? Today I will be trying to edit a montage in 10 minutes. Also, I'm gonna ask you guys to do one favor for me, and that is to follow my Twitter and join the Discord, because YouTube barely sends out notifications half the time. Just look at this analytic, and if you join the Discord, you'll be notified when I post 100% of the time. Let's also hit a thousand likes on this video if you guys wanna see more daily uploads. And yeah, let's get right into the video. All right, so we have it open right here, and we're just gonna open up the new composition. Let's just name it 10 minute challenge. And I'm just gonna start the timer as soon as I put in the clips and timer. All right, and the song is in here and now the timer is started all right let's start on this edit so the first thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add beats so just more accessible for me one there one there one there then we'll add boom here and right there all right now let's throw in the first clip and then we just want to have this somewhere by the shot and now we can start timer mapping it so i think i'm gonna have uh the launch pad right there and lastly split all right now i don't even know if i have time to time i don't even know if i have time to time to map. i'll time up like the last clip or two right here like right there we gotta go like that we gotta mute the clips then we can split that right there and delete it and then we're gonna timer map that as well boom and they want to have it on like the pickaxe swing so i'm gonna fast forward it a little bit like that all right now let's time wrap it all right now we gotta drag these back up because i kind of messed up right here all right another All right, then we can save it and we can stop the timer. All right, we have six minutes left. I think that'll be enough time for cinematic in effects. All right, now we can choose the cinematics that we want. And I have a few already like pre-recorded. So I think I'm just gonna use that. All right, and we can just import them right here. I think I'm gonna do like, I'll put in like two or three of them. All right, we have the two cinematics in here. So we can start the time back up in three, two, one. And let's start it. All right, now let's throw in, uh, I'm gonna do this one. Boom, and then we just want that at the right spot. Like that, and then, and then right there. And now we can cut that off, and we can split that. And for timer wrapping, we're just gonna do that, and add our keyframe. Then we're gonna fast forward to where we want. Same thing with this, we're just gonna add the two keyframes in, and F9. Then I think I'm actually going to do like a little reverse on this. For the reverse, I'm going to make a grab kind of like this. And then add uh, frame blending. And then boom. And boom. Add frame blending. Alright. And I really don't have time to check everything over. So we're just going to add in effects. So definitely going to start it off with directional blur. Like that. Throw those in here. And then I'm just gonna change the value because it's a little too much. And I'm gonna just move that like there. 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 Alright, and then I'm gonna add like a shake. We can just highlight the keyframes and we gotta move it over because I don't want it super big. Alright, and then I'm gonna add like a little zoom, like a little bit of pan crop for this. Alright, and then we gotta add another shake for the kill. Like that. Alright, we have about like three minutes left, so it's not super bad. And we could try to add an effect.
and I'm gonna add like CC toner and I'm just gonna change the value of it because I don't want it like super strong like maybe VHS and I'm gonna ch oh boy what did I just do and uh I think that looks fine and then I'm gonna add posterize time because I just want to change like the FPS value to like that would be good Then I'm gonna do like a little, uh, maybe like glow, deep glow. And I'm gonna change that and up the radius. And then I'm just gonna fade it out. Uh, maybe not. Oh jeez, we do not have a lot of time left. Maybe I could do like this. Where's the one that I like? Oh, that's kind of cool actually. I think we're gonna move that one right here. I'm gonna do like a white solid. We have 30 seconds left. Oh my god. Capacity. That. And let me. Oh my god. 20 seconds. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh my god, I have 10 seconds to add a kill effect. Screw it. Whatever that is. I don't even know what that's gonna be. Oh my god, that looks ugly. Four seconds. Oh my god, why did it give me that dinging? <laughs> Alright. Oh my gosh, that was stressful. Oh my gosh. Alright. I think we should just render it out without even look. Oh my god, I didn't even do a CC. I didn't even do a CC. I'm not even gonna look at it. I'm literally just gonna render it right from here. Pre-compose it. This isn't doing anything. I'm just making it easier so I can just uh, render from here. All right, and then render. Boom, just like that. All right, and yeah, let's get right into the reaction. All right, let's do it. Alright, all right, you know what? For 10 minutes. That was 10 minutes. We, alright, let's watch it again. Like, I don't think that was that bad. But I did it. But I did add the kill effect in the wrong spot, though. Alright, let's watch it again. And then I also forgot to add directional blur on the cinematics. And I forgot to add, like, a CC. Alright, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed the montage or even like the video at all, consider leaving a like and subscribing because it really helps me out. And yeah, I'm out. Peace.